on this channel. I'll be talking about whatever I fucking want. Do you remember Shameek Moore? He was on a very incredible show called Incredible Crew. And Incredible Crew aired for only one year, for one season only, on Cartoon Network. A network where you originally seen the animation cartoon shows. I was scrolling through Twitter's For You page on September 18th, and I saw an irrelevant Twitter user who goes by this name, Wills Guardy4. And, you know, this is what he says. Miles Morales' voice actor gets worse and worse the more I hear about him. And when I clicked on that tweet first, I was kind of confused as to why he would say this. But then this happened. He says, guys, IDGAF, if he said he liked white women 10 years ago, this is what I'm talking about. Sources. He went into um, Rosa Parks, sitting at the front of the bus, right? What we don't know as a black community is that there was, there, there were, his, his family, Dr. Claude Anderson, had black owned taxi cabs and black buses that could have been used in, during, during that time. You know, now, this is something that a lot of people might not want to hear. I should probably have this conversation with, with an OG. But what I'm getting to with that is if our resources, he went into um, Rosa Parks sitting at the front of the bus, right? What we don't know as a black community is that there was, there, there were, his, his family, Dr. Claude Anderson, had black owned taxi cabs and black buses that could have been used in, during, during that time. You know, now, this is something that a lot of people might not want to hear. I should probably have this conversation with, with an OG. But what I'm getting to with that is if our resources. This guy did a poor job of clarifying something that he was supposed to clarify. And this is what he said in this next tweet here, which is, guys, it's not that because he's a milkman. It's because he said Rizza Parks could have just got a taxi since there were a lot of black owned taxi businesses at the time. Most people were not happy with this guy bringing up a tweet about Jimmy Moore. Juan Cena 4 says, post the full clip. Kind of sounds like he's attempting to extrapolate to a larger point. Then Will Gardevoir says, if I had access to the full, I would. Well, if you're gonna have access to cancel somebody, next time don't even bring up an out of context clip because it really would make you look bad in front of everyone. I'm serious. I don't know why I was even alerted to this. This was a waste of time and energy, purely. SMH. Leave Shameek Moore alone. He's been on his grind and displaying his talents for everyone to enjoy. I totally agree with that person 100%. Perhaps our soft says, glad it cuts off before he actually explains what he's talking about and makes any semblance of a point and then repeats the same unfinished clip again. Really explained it well. Not gonna lie, that was great sarcasm. I mean, anyone could post a clip out of context and leave out more information to make anyone look bad. Exactly. Anyone could. So, why is this generation still doing this in 2023, going on to 2024 next? Lulu 2346786 says, hate it when people just post a certain clip and not the whole thing. Yep. Couldn't have said this better than myself. And the only reason why Will's Gardevoir would do this is because Shamik Moore has an upcoming project in 2024 
which is why he is the main character that he's playing, Miles Morales. That's why Will Scarnford would cancel Jimmy Kimura for something that he says over three years ago. And Jimmy Kimura himself already had to address this in three tweets for about 30 minutes, even though he didn't really make a great point at all. That doesn't mean that he kept to cancel somebody for the backlash he already gotten three years ago. Will, if that's your real name, you can't do that. You just can't. You really can't do that. It's it, it's an irresponsible behavior. And as a black man, I idly won't stand by and watch somebody get cancelled again for something that had been already done. And had I made a video about Shriek more a while back, I would obviously say as to why the black on violence thing or black on black crime doesn't really correlate to the white on black crime. And I also would have said back then that Jimmy Moore should have not ignore the past because that's part of history and we have to acknowledge that rather than just looking into the so-called black futures. And back then, I also would have said if I had made that video three years ago, if Shimmy Moore actually started listening instead of ignorantly moving forward, thus denying racism happening towards black people, then Shimmy Moore, who was 25 at the time in 2020, wouldn't have made these tweets in the first place had he just done just that. As well as looking at his TV screen or looking on the internet to see where a black person's perspective comes from when they see white on black crime happening in front of them because they were affected by it. Then maybe Shamik would actually have an open mind of understanding and above all obviously compassion then he wouldn't ignore the stigmatization of this whole ordeal that's been happening for decades now it would have been best for Shimik Moore to not respond on a live stream with a random person who probably happens to be a friend or a close friend or whoever instead of talking to somebody who actually knows him and who has more experience of this then maybe Shmeet Moore would have just kept his mouth shut at all and not even tweet about it in the first place as well and maybe he wouldn't be in this mess but canceling Shmeet Moore or something that happened three years ago doesn't help your case because it gets worse and worse the more I hear about him. Meanwhile, you only have 25,073 followers. You're not that popular for Twitter years ago. So here are my final thoughts on this situation here. Look, just because Jimmy Moore was naive at the time, does it mean you have to go to a stupid live stream three years later just to now cancel him? Also, where were you three years ago when this happened already? Answer me this because I'm dying to know. And just because you're mad late doesn't mean that you should tweet this for clout. You should only tweet it if it's relevant and meaningful. If it's not relevant to today's standards, don't tweet about it. Let it go. Because canceling should make more now is outdated. Because nothing you say will undermine his career and it won't change things. And besides, maybe Shimik Moore has changed his views and has since hopefully learned from his mistakes at the age of 28. But if you want to redeem yourself as someone who's not going to be a cancel culture warrior, you should delete this tweet right away. And I understand not everybody is gonna like Shimik more. And you have that right to feel what you want to feel about people that you don't like. But regurgitating a three-year-old controversy 
that he already faced should never be used for likes and retweets and clicks and shows how desperate you are to cancel somebody for their past just because you got over 11k likes and a thousand bookmarks on your tweet. At the end of the day, Shamik Moore, who's an actor in my generation, will be seen in this Spider-Man movie and I bet that this movie by next year will do great because he's in this role as Miles Morales and no one will take that away from him as he is one of the most successful actors in history. And by history, I do mean this generation's history. So the next time you wanna cancel somebody for no reason, look at yourself in a mirror and say, what the fuck am I doing wrong? What purpose do I have when it comes to canceling somebody like Shimiki Moore, who I don't even know in person? What do I, Will's Garner for, gain from canceling somebody over a pointless claim they made three years ago? What kind of awareness am I trying to bring over a tweet that was already made three years ago about this. Showing an Instagram live stream of Shimik Moore talking about Rosa Parks and black owned taxi cabs. So ask yourself that, Will's Gardevoir. Reflect on your life. Use your platform for good instead of for clout because no one likes a clout chaser. Thank you.